YouTube, it's Satch. Welcome to Driver 81. Welcome to the cockpit of this BMW 2 Series Active Tourer. It's a 2017 model, brand new. It's got 1,500 miles on the clock. And today I'm gonna to run through five things that I love about this car. Let's get into it. So a few facts about the car first of all. The model is a 218D, um, it has a 2 litre diesel engine and you can pick these up on the second hand market for about £10,000, uh, brand new starting from £22,000. So the first thing that I love about this car is the interior of the car. You instantly get into the car and you know you're sitting in a BMW. It's got this kind of futuristic dashboard layout here where it sort of it sort of comes out it goes along then it goes back in and to me that's kind of futuristic sort of spaceshipy um, this whole center console is really well laid out you've got a little bit of storage space here for your phone and everything is exactly where you would need it to be obviously you would expect that in a, in a brand new car uh, but it's just well thought out and the layers are right really nice and the dashboard area there's a, a sort of a quite a large gap between the windscreen and where it comes towards the clocks here. The Speedo cluster is very basic. It doesn't really scream quality. It could be the same in a Vauxhall Zafira. However, it's functional, it works. It's got your rev counter, it's got your Speedo, it's got your diesel or your petrol, and it's got your current MPG. It also has a small information display at the bottom, which gives you the time, your selected gear, your trip meter, your total trip, temperature, miles per gallon and average speed and date. So the second thing that I love about this car is the appeal of the car. Um, it's a BMW but it's not a BMW that you would expect. Now I think this car would have generally appeal to somebody who's really in the market for something like a uh, Vauxhall Zafira, a Citroen Picasso, a Ford C-Max. So if you're looking at one of those cars this is kind of the same type of car so with it being a premium brand, I think it's probably going to be more appealing than a Zafira, a Citroen C4 Picasso, and especially once you start getting into the second-hand market where prices are becoming very similar, that's when it comes into a ton, and that's when I think this will be a bestseller when it's on the second-hand market. All right, so the third thing that I love about this BMW 2 Series, and it's probably not isolated to this particular vehicle. Um, it is a new vehicle, so it does have it installed, um, and it's what they call the BMW Concierge Service. Now, I believe it's a free service, um, and I have tried it out once, and basically, what you'll do is, you'll go into the Concierge ser Service, uh, call BMW, and it basically puts you through to a BMW uh, operator who knows everything about your vehicle, where you are, and you can say to this operator, say, okay, um, I want to find the nearest Pizza Hut or uh, put into my sat nav the nearest petrol station and he'll put it all in there for you and you just need to follow and hang up. Simple as that. It's really easy to do. You don't need to muck about with putting any postcodes in or finding points of interest or anything like that because this concierge service will do it all for you. So that's a really little nifty feature. And as I say, yes, it's on this two series, but it's probably also going to be on the, the one series, the five series, the three series. Uh, the new generation cars, so um, one to look out for, it's a great little feature. Alright, so the next thing that I love about this BMW 2 Series is the fact that it has such a great turning circle and that for me is what makes it a good little city car, city stroke family car. Uh, the turning circle is great on it, now normally I would never touch on something like this because, well it's just a turning circle after all, um, but it's got one of the best, I drive quite a lot of cars and it's got one of the best turning circles I've ever been in if I'm brutally honest with you. Let's just take a quick look at the turning circle. Alright, so the final thing that I love about this car is the seating position and the driving experience. It's a very smooth drive. The gearbox is silky smooth, like I'm driving on glass. It really is, but it's, it gives you a certain level of comfort. Um, you certainly, whenever you're going over speed bumps, so I'm gonna go over one here. They just make it silky smooth. Um, so it's got good suspension on it. 
nice and soft and the the height of the uh, the seat I know you can obviously adjust the seat but you kind of I would say you're higher than a 3 series or a 5 series but I would say you're lower than say an X1 or an X3 uh, certainly an X5 so it's kind of that happy medium where you're sort of you're just that little bit above most other drivers who are in a standard saloon car and I really do like it I really do like this car a lot when I first got given the car I thought to myself I really don't like the car I don't like what it stands for I don't like I don't think BMW should have made a car like this because other sectors have clearly got that covered and when you think of BMW you think of premium brands so you think of um, you know high-end 3 series 5 series x5 luxury cars like that you don't think of people carriers and you know day-to-day -day family cars well that's exactly what BMW have done and I think BMW are generally but well, not just BMW, all other uh, manufacturers as well. I think they're going to be they'll, be, they'll come a day where all manufacturers have got a version of absolutely everything. So got, gone are the days where, you know, companies are just, to, you know, putting their hand into other markets like the SUV market. All, all manufacturers now, other than Ferrari, which I think they're bringing one out, um, have got like SUVs. So it's just the way of the world. and. You know that the, obviously they're, they're tapping into all of these markets um, but that's fine but anyway I do like the car I really like the car would I go out and buy one if I had 22,000 pound in my back pocket absolutely not would I, I go out and buy one if I had one well 10,000 pound in my back pocket on the used car market probably not I'd probably go out and buy a 3 series um, if I'm honest with you but I do like the car so I hope this uh, video has helped you if you may be in the market for looking for one of these car yourself and um, you want to get experience or you want to take others experience about what they like and dislike about the car so um, I am going to be making a video on five things that I hate about this car as well so it's not all lovey-dovey uh, so please like the video I'd be really I'd really appreciate that um, please give it a subscribe um, and you'll you'll see the other video pop up on your timeline as well uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time